Hi, my name is Ian. Um, I was involved in a light aircraft crash last July where um, I, I broke both my ankles, uh, one was also dislocated, broke my back in two places, broke four ribs, um, some internal bleeding um, and ended up being flown by helicopter to, to ARI uh, where I spent the next, um, the next three weeks basically. Um, I also had to spend four months non-weight bearing, uh, so for somebody who's his, his, his whole life have been doing outdoor sports, you know, hill walking, climbing, skiing, running, cycling, and this was a bit of a shock. Um, but yeah, I've been asked to say a few words about OTs. So when I arrive in hospital, you, everyone from TV knows exactly what doctors and nurses do. Um, I also knew quite a bit about physios because, you know, all my life I've been doing sports, so I've, I've seen the odd physio when I've been, um, you know, injured, etc., which quite often. Um, but OTs, I, I always thought OTs were genuinely, uh, OTs were for very, very old people um, in care homes, etc. You know, things like that. Um, yeah, so when I was in Aberdeen for my ARI visit for nearly three weeks, I quickly found out that, you know, the OTs are a really um, a pivotal part of the, of the medical, of the NHS team within the, within the hospital. You've got obviously doctors and nurses. The OTs and the physios and, and all together you sort of provide that sort of patients um, a really good care package. Um, yeah, the OTs for me were great. Um, they spend a lot of time with you, which when you are um, lying flat on your back as I was for, for many weeks, uh, looking at the ceiling, um, having the contact with them was fantastic because even when they're just, just sort of talking to you, you were, you were going through what happened to you and that's a bit like therapy because I mean, as we all know, you know, Blokes are not very good at talking about, you know, how we feel and issues, etc. But the OTs um, came around almost every day and spoke to you, and that was that was that was great, great contact, which cannot be um, that as again as part of the recovery process that cannot be underestimated. The uh, the OTs I spoke to, or who actually helped me out in Aberdeen, were just fantastic. Um, and as I said earlier, they were great to actually speak to. And they were very good at listening as well when, you know, um, it can, you can go through some quite tough times you're lying in hospital bed and you're thinking, you know, you think that you may never walk again type of thing. Um, or certainly didn't do any of the sports you used to do and love. They were all off the cards almost certainly. Um, so that was quite tough. But when they came into the room, they were, uh, they were great, at, um, great at pushing you forward and um, setting little challenges, um, you know, from, like in uh, my case, I was lying flat on my back for almost two weeks, so to then be, you know, pressured effectively to get out of bed was quite difficult. I, had, you know, my both my ankles were smashed, so I couldn't put any weight in them. So, yeah, the um, I was winched, put, I was put into like a big blue sack effectively, and winched out of bed and then lowered into a chair, which, um, you know, at the time was quite quite painful. But you know, looking back at it, it was great because it, it was it was a different scene. It just proved to me that I could do something else, albeit with with the with the OT help. Um, and then once I'd done that, you know, um, the OT brought along um, a a little wheelchair, um, which was which is amazing, you know, and, and uh, being being shown how to operate the wheelchair and how to use a banana board to get out of bed and into the wheelchair. Um, and for somebody who's again quite active, to be bed bound is very very difficult. Um, but you know, to be given the freedom in the hospital to be able to get yourself out of bed. Um, slide on the banana board into a wheelchair and then whizzing off down the corridor um, to the um, disabled toilet obviously and uh, just to try it again it was just a bit of freedom um, and again these are little steps towards your recovery but both physical and actually mental because it's it's quite difficult at times um, to accept where you are um, and whether it's real um, but yeah the OTs I, I found were just fantastic and were um, as big a chunk of my recovery help as were the doctors that at the very, at the very beginning who, who sewed my legs back together etc and all the nursing care you got but it's the it's the it's the enduring support and advice and, and talking to which that OTs I found it was completely invaluable so well done all the OTs out there <laughs>